Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Cosmic Run Mining Colony. So, what was I going to do? Well, I thought about it, and knowing my wife, Jen, I don't think she would leave anything to chance. I'm willing to bet that the card she played is a 10. I, you know, just, again, knowing how my wife plays, how she thinks. And so, if I know that, there is no reason for me to spend anything, because my 10 will lose in the tie. But with that in mind, I'm just going to go and play a 1. And if she plays a 2, it'll be very disappointing, but... I was right. She played the 10. I played the 1. And so, Jen will take the big payday and leave me with the dregs. But still, it's not bad. A 4-pointer versus a 5-pointer. And just like that, boom. Jen wins. Uh, she immediately gets this. She now has the clear majority. She's got three yellow things, which doesn't guarantee her that she'll get these three points, but... It looks pretty likely. And in the meantime, she's got to decide how to put this and also where to put this purple cube. Or this purple, uh, what do you call it? Uh, crystal. And she's got a problem there. Um, well, no, she doesn't. I was, gonna say, I was about to say she has a problem, except because she's got no place to put it now, but she's about to deploy this thing. Where is she going to put it, though? Uh, Tetra style, she'd like to go on ahead and fill the... Where if she does that or that, she's going to leave a hole. And she can't just put this out in the middle of nowhere. She has to expand from what she already has. So if she goes something like this, this isn't bad because now there... Oh, yes, it is. It's not bad because here's a living quarter and here's a ship space. So that means if she gets the red and the red there, she could do a red, but th this isn't developed. So at some point, she'll have to get a size one thing there to be able to put a base there, as an example. But that gives her possibility. In the meantime, she's gobbled up a lot more terrain, and rather than throw this purple crystal away, she will put it right over here on this wild card space. A white crystal could go there. All right, so that was it for Jen. She's done building, and it's my turn. And I so wish I had not put this yellow here, because now I've lost. If I get a yellow later on, I, I, well, I still would like to get more yellows, because I could still tie Jen. Jen's got three. If I get a couple of more yellow crystals before the game is over, um, you know, there's no guarantee she's going to get that. But in the meantime, if I, if I had originally pulled this purple out, I could put this purple here, and boom, I would make the purple uh, research base. Except I just can't do that. This is locked in. It cannot be moved again. So I just got to start thinking about the future with what I got. I could pull these guys out of mothballs. Um, right, so... What have I got here? Uh, something like this would certainly make sense. No! Oh my gosh, look at this too! This is a yellow-only refinement zone. Um, so, uh, you know, I don't have any yellow. I can't, put, I, I can't put my purple on here. Wow! Okay, so, my other purple, I'm just going to put it over here because I don't want to throw it away. And that means I'm going to try and make a, you know, put a purple here or here so I can do the purple zone in one of those two. I got to remember that going ahead. I've got the purple in position. I just got to get a uh, purple or generic refinery in one of those two spaces, plus, you know, something there to build on. But in the meantime, so this yellow, I mean, I could get it just to get more yellow to try to take the lead away from her, but in the meantime, this is interesting because if I get a blue ship, which hasn't come out yet, but if I hold this space open for a blue ship, then boom, I will get the blue base, which could lock in that two-pointer for me. So that kind of makes sense. So let's do that. Let's do that. I could do it a different way as well. I could put it over here like this. And then, hey, I've got these two. A person and a matching ship could go like this. Um, which is cool as well. But no, nah, I'll just... I'll just mm, no, since I've already deployed my blue guy over here, I want to be able to get that ship done as fast as possible. So I'll do that, um, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I put that down. I've got everything taken care of. I mean, I, I've still got these. I can deploy them later. One, at least one, uh, shiny, since I'm never going to get a uh, research space built here, I could always deploy this red guy over here and try to put a, a ship launching thing right there so I could do the red base there like that. So, say la vie. Anyway, but on the other hand, though, we've both burned our ones. Jen's burned her ten. Now we come over here, and the worm turns. The, uh, the tie breaks in my favor, and which of these groups do I want? I wasn't even thinking about that. Although you need to be. This game, it gives you a lot to ponder. Right. I know Jen wants this because she's already got the black guy. If she gets this, boom, she gets the black base. So this And this is more valuable, too, because this is a two-pointer as opposed to a one-pointer. Plus, hey, if I get this, I can put this like this, get the purple here, and then, boom, build my purple science station. So I want this, because I want to keep this away from Jen, and I want this. Although, that said, I would like to get the red ship I was just talking about. Um, but what would I do with it? What would I do with that red ship? Uh, because the only place I can put my red guy is over here. 
And I, I could do this. I could put the red ship here. Um, but I could not build. I mean, eventually if I get this space filled. So, I mean, that's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Nobody has... Or, or Jen has one green. So if I get one green as well, then I'll be tying up. But... <sighs> no, I think I want to keep that black from her. I want to get this. I want to make up... I mean, a purple is only one point instead of three, but it's still something. Oh, that's the other thing, too. If I build like this, I am making a tougher jigsaw puzzle for me to fill in. Uh, because, remember, every space I don't fill is going to be points I lose at the end of the game. So this will be tougher to fill. I mean, there are these little corner pieces that might make sense later on down the line, but this is really going to be very restrictive. I mean, instead of doing it that way, though, I could do it like this, and then put the purple, and then boom. And that still keeps me a lot of growth potential. I think that's what I want. I want this... I, I don't mind getting this, because it'd be good to finish red off, or get red going anyway, but I want this more. So, with that in mind, what do I want to bid? What do I want to bid? I could bid a 10, and it'd be guaranteed. I could bid a 9, and it'd be guaranteed, because the tie breaks in my favor, and Jen doesn't have a 10 anymore. So am I going to pay a 9 for that? <sighs> uh, this whole game is just agonizing, trying to think how much is my opponent going to value, because you know I have to pay attention to what she wants, too. She wants this crystal. Um, but see, what is she going to do with this? I mean, because she could get this uh, green crystal over here. She could get the green base, but she can't do that, and she wouldn't be able to put... She could bring this yellow out of her tire, or this white out of her tire, store the green until she could build over there. So that kind of makes sense for her. She wouldn't mind getting that green to try and get the green lab built. Oh. Uh, and by the same token, she wouldn't mind putting this here just so she can fill this space in, because then she gets a person in a ship, and she can get a base built right there. So... Looking at it, Jen wants this too, but I think this is better for her. So I think with that in mind, I think because Jen would be kind of happy with either of these, I'm assuming that means Jen's going to bid a bit lower, especially since she's blown her 5 and her 10. So she's going to bid lower, and if I anticipate, she bids a 4. Let's say that's what she's going to do. I don't know if she's going to do that, but if she's going to bid a 4, then I could say, um, pull out my 6. Oh, that's really risky. I'm, I'm going to pull out my 7. I'm going to pull out my 7 and hope for the best. 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 And what is Jen going to do? Now, here's the interesting thing. Jen, of course, she'd be thinking about it. And again, this is how I know what Jen would do. I do know how she would value something. She may very well do a 4. Um, the game, interestingly, is a two-player game, but it comes with solo rules. And if you're playing the solo game, every round you just draw for the dummy. Uh, you know, for, for, for your opponent. Zorlarg, or something like that is what their name is. And, um, you know, if they win, if they played an even card, they'll take the even silo. If they played an odd card, they'll take the odd silo. It just goes away. And um, the victory points aren't over here. Instead, when you eventually have to jettison stuff because you end up claiming things and you can't don't have room for them, they come over here and they lose you points as waste. And what you have to do is, before the game is up, you've got to get um, all these research stations built, which is very, very tricky indeed. So, um, right. But I'm not playing solo. All right, I'm thinking what Jen's going to do, and I think I know my wife pretty well. She did value that at a four, and I say, phew, okay, seven to her four, and boom, I get first dibs. I take the big haul. She gets the little haul. But she doesn't mind, like I said. She'll fill this space in, so now she's got that covered. Uh, she's got a red ship. She's got to put it someplace. She's got a green. She'll bring the, like I was talking, she'll, bring the, she'll put the white here because only a white could go there anyway. She's happy with that. She'll store this green until she can get it deployed there. And she'll just store this ship until she decides what she's going to do. She's sitting pretty. Uh, um, right. And meanwhile, me, I'm going to do my thing. That. Bring this purple out. And just like that, I'm giving up the ability to put a ship here, but that's okay because I'm kind of locking in purple. Nice. And, um, right, I got to put this black ship somewhere because I can't store it. I will. And I got to put this blue guy somewhere. Arr, where am I going to put this blue guy? Where am I going to put this blue guy? Let's see. I've got. Well, here. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll bring the red guy out, I'll keep the blue guy in storage. And then um, I gotta put a ship someplace. I don't want to put a ship here because, oh yeah, I do because all I can only put a yellow here. So it's not like I could get a white and a white there. So this I might as well just go on ahead. I'll put the black ship there. Keep my other black ship in storage. And um, there is this white crystal, which I mean I'd like to put, you know, but I can't. So I'll just store it and we'll see how things go. Okay, so that is that. That was that round. Round two over. 
Round three, what have we got? Okay, we have a little size three with some purple and a wild card storage, a red colonist, and that's it. Uh, size two over here, and a green and a purple. Okay, a size one, and a black and blue colonist or minor along with a white crystal and then a golden crystal and a big old size four all righty so uh and once again uh, the, you know the game continues how what do i want <sighs> see okay so i've got this lead on purple which isn't that great it's only one point but if jen gets this she's then got two purple she could take that lead away from me i don't know if i like that okay hmm um Let's see, and if Jen gets this, she's got that ship, and boom, boom, she will effectively, not guaranteed, but probably lock in red. Plus, this is a three-pointer as a two-pointer. So I think for Jen, certainly, this is more attractive. Hmm. Um. Yeah, what am I going to do? Let's see, this would be a place to store green gems. Oh, Jen wouldn't mind this either. If Jen gets this... Boom, it comes over here, she puts her green, and then she gets the green. So, actually, Jen likes both of these just fine. She's happy with getting whatever she wants. And after thinking about it a little bit, she just says, oh, that's what I'm playing. And I'm like, oh, okay, she'll take anything. She played a two. All right, I know what she did. I mean, getting into your, uh, your opponent's head is crucial to winning this game. Um, but she, if she knows, that's why I think maybe she uh, mixed it up. All right, so, I, I know these are both good for her. Which one is better for me? This is three points versus two points. Uh, this would be me trying to fight for uh, you know some green dominance and holding on to my purple dominance and having a place to store the green. And also, if you know, I go something like this, let's say, then I've got a place to put the red ship if I ever get a red ship. But it doesn't matter because if I give this to Jen, she I know she's deploying this and it won't matter if I get a red ship or not. Nah. Uh, and on the flip side, if I get this, you know, hey, I've got two red out there, I might win the three, the two-point red without ever building the red base, potentially. <sighs> okay, so not only should I be thinking about this, but based on what I get over here, I should think, how will these complement these? Because, of course, I'm going to get one of those two depots as well. And um, I would certainly <laughs> not be particularly excited about either of them. I mean, hey, I could... If I, if I end up getting this, then I could put this here, put the black eye there, and um, you know, and, and try to lock in black, which is worth a point. I'd rather lock in red, but you know, so that's, that's a possibility. I get another white crystal, but I've kind of missed my opportunity, uh, because, you know, well, actually, I don't have a place to put a white crystal anyway. All uh, right. This it covers up four instead of one, so I'd be I'd be getting scoring four points off that terrain, and I'd be trying to fight my way back because then suddenly I'd have two yellow, and I'd only be one away from taking Jen's majority away from her, um, or you know not taking it, uh, you know tying for majority at the end of the game. Wow! Oh, that is tough. That is tough. I think. I think I know the Jen valued equal those equally, so she probably played low. Which means I'll just go on ahead and play a three just to hedge my bets. Because I think she played a two. And let's see what she did. Yes, she did. Alrighty. So there's my three. So I get first dibs. Tie broke in my favor. And I'm still torn. I don't want either of those to go to Jen, but one of them has to. Hmm. I think. Ah. Oh. Green is only one point. I'm giving her green if I give her all this stuff. Red is two points. I'd rather hold on to red. This is where, all right, so this is what I'm going to take. Okay, and which means Jen gets all this. And like I said, she's easy. Boom, boom. Puts the green. Isn't that lovely? Her second research station. And she's got to put this purple someplace. Although, here's a problem. Jen has no place to put this purple. Uh, there are no more refineries anywhere, so Jen is going to have to jettison something now. So, she could either get rid of this purple, or she could get rid of this green, and then put the uh, uh, the purple in her temporary uh, priming area. Hmm, which one of these two is she going to get rid of? She feels like she's got a strong lead on greed, plus green is only one point. 
she, she, I think she'll jettison and she'll hold on to the purple because now she's she'll have two purples if she gets this onto the board. Stuff over here doesn't count towards majorities in the end of the game. you got to get it on your board. And if Jen gets two more purples, she could take my lead away. She feels like she's solid on the green, so that's what she did with hers. By the way, I also forgot to mention, um, whoever builds combined the most science stations and bases gets this one, two points. Currently, Jen has built two. I've only built one. So that's a big thing to consider as well. The Zat is not nothing. Alrighty, so where am I going to go? What am I going to do with this thing? Um, hmm. Ah, I can't... I would like to go and do this and override this with this, but I can't do it because then, hey, I've got a white. I could put a white here and I could build there, but I can't do it. And it's not like I need any more purple stuff, so I really should just do this in such a way as to ma maximize the future. All right, so this is a wild and this is a wild. I can't... Right. All right. So nobody has built the white lab yet. Jen's halfway there. So I should do this in such a way that I could potentially set myself up to build the white lab in the future. Um, which this purple storage space doesn't, but this white, this universal one does. So if I go like this, let's just say, then I could get a white over there or over there. And if I get a white in those spaces, I could get that lab. And in the meantime, I've covered a lot of space. But on the flip side, I oh, I've ruined my chances of putting a ship or a person here to complete to be with those. So neither of those make sense. I could go like this. But then this gets to be a tougher space to fill because I want to get this filled, um, again, with, with either a landing bay or a pod to, tr to trigger either of those. So I, I don't think I want to mess. I think I'll just put this off over to the side somewhere out of the way. So it doesn't mess with these. So I still have the flexibility I need to make this happen. Um, because, like, you know, if I end up getting this, then boom, I'm, I know I'm going to try and put a red ship here so I can complete these guys. Although, on the flip side, if I get this, that's the other wild I need to, com to combine with this. But I'll just go with that, I'll go with that, I'll go with that. And now, I've got one more red dude. He's got to go someplace. i got no place for him to go. he got no place to go. Ain't that a shame. So, i got a choice. Either put him in storage and get rid of Mr. Blue... Or, but blue is worth three points. I want to hold on to that. Or say goodbye to him. It's not like I need a second red guy. The main reason I did this was to keep Jen from getting it. So I'm going to say goodbye to Mr. Red. The first thing jettison because I got no place to put him. Uh, ouch. And remember, like I said, if I was playing the solo, that would be some negative points for me at the end of the game. But in the competitive game, it doesn't matter. All right, so that was that. Meanwhile, Jen's done hers. So we're on over here now. And once again, the bidding resumes. Hmm. All right. So... On one level, I'm happy getting either of these because it means I will either get to put a dome here to match the ship or a landing station here to match that so I could get one of these. Red is worth more than black. So I'd rather do that. Plus, this is four points and this is one point. But on the other hand, here's the second white gem. I've got one white gem. So if I get this second white gem I'd, um, you know, and put it out here, on this wild, I'm holding on, and I could get it here or here and get the last research station. So that is good for me too. These are both good for me. So which one do I want more? I'd like to get that white gem because if otherwise Jen gets it, and she's a hop, skip, and a jump away from completing and getting the last research station. Remember, in this game, two points for having built the most buildings. If Jen builds that third building before I build my second, I worry about my chances of, of scoring that. So I got to take all that into account, and then remember that ties break in my favor now. So, do I use my two? Because oh, actually, I know Jen can't do a one or two. So this is why it's good not to have to memorize. I know the lowest Jen has is a three, so my two won't beat it. If I use this two, I guarantee lose. So I'll save that for later. So do I go for my six, my eight, my nine, or my ten? If I go with my six. Jen has lost. Jen still has her 7, 8, and 9. I'm going to do it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go with my 6. We'll see how that goes. And then meanwhile, getting into Jen's head. What is she thinking? Well, so I was just thinking about this from my perspective. From her perspective, she she wants the big 4-pointer, but she wants this to complete her, um, you know, to get that white. She's also worried because she's got a lot of stuff jammed up. She's going to have to start jettisoning things pretty quick. Although that's not true. She's got a lot of places to drop, guys. She's just been... Hedging her bets um, to give herself more flexibility. So, 
Um, and also, from Jen's perspective, she doesn't want me to get this because then, hey, I have a shot of completing the uh, Black Factory and holding on to Black Majority, which is worth one in this game. So, um, but if Jen gets this, where will she put that? She, she'll, she'll have a blue, so she'll, you know, because blue is worth three points, so she'll be starting to work on um, trying to get that blue majority. She'll have the white crystal she needs. She'll have this. She'll have a lot of place to put people. But she'd rather have this as well. So, I think... I think she will go for... She won't go for her lowest. She'll go for her six. All right. I've totally forgotten what I went for now. Totally. And we both went six. And Jen says, no! The tie broke in my favor. I get first dibs. How can you beat getting four points all of a sudden? Four points. I mean, this doesn't do anything for me except it gets me closer to taking her majority of yellows away. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it. 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 Right. Okay. And uh, and so now my next quandary. If I put it here like this, then I've got a place to put my red ship if I ever get it and knock those guys out. On the other hand, if I put it here like this, let's say, then I've got a place to put my, um, two, my two whites. Uh, the one I've got, and the one I didn't get, and the one I can't move over there. Ah! Nope, I'm going to go for what I can do. All right, so that's that. i got to put this yellow someplace. I'll just go on ahead and put it... I could put it here, um, because now I've got two versus Jen's three. But the thing is, I might eventually put a dome here, and then a ship here, and a person here. And if I put this yellow, then I would never be able to build a, a, to build a base right there. So I'd be limiting myself. But what are the chances I'm going to pull that off? It's not a rhetorical question. Folks, what are the chances? It's tough. This, this game is really surprisingly crunchy. Um, I think... I think... Well, yeah, because the other thing is... I mean, I, I've got this ship here. I, if I, if I, yeah, I've got a ship. But I, I want to keep that available for the blue ship I eventually get to work with this guy. Oh, I'm just going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. Okay. And so now i got to decide, what am I doing with him? I could put him over here in the wild card, but I'm saving that for white. I could put him over here in this wild card. Because I'm not saving that for anything. Although I could put the white over here. Yeah, I mean, why? If, you know, if, if I, I could just bring my white out, lock it in, and now I, you know, I gotta get a white there to get the base, and I could still do this later and keep my options open. I always have this as a fallback. Let's do this. Let's do this. Alright, there we go. That's it. I'm done. Oh, help me. Help me. All right, so Jen, meanwhile, she says, oh, this is lovely. So, she has a bunch of people um, and only one extra start. She's got a ship. She's got another place to put people. And she would like to put this in storage to up her chances of ultimately putting this here or here. Which means she doesn't want to fill this space up with a person to keep her options open. So let's bring um, the purple out of retirement. Because here's the thing. Jen has to give up a, a gem. Because uh, she's got no place to put more crystals. So, she could keep the purple to try to take this majority from me, but she'd rather um, you know, fight me for the white. So, she, this is, she said goodbye to that. That's very sad. Meanwhile, she has to put this someplace. Uh, she could just put it in here, just because that'll be a tough little corner to fill eventually. Um, nothing will get built on it, of course. But she could do that. And then... Right, she doesn't want to throw anybody away. So, she will keep her flexibility with blue open. And she will bring this guy over here. No, she'll bring this guy over here. No, yes, because a guy and a ship could go there. Jen doesn't want to commit to it yet because she doesn't know what color ship she's going to get. She might get a red guy and then put them both there and do the red factory. So she'll put a guy here because he's not going to do much of anything. And she's already done the green research, so it's not like she'll be able to do another green research. She'll put a guy there. And just like that, Jen is in the lead on black. She's got two to my one. Okay, so that was that. That round is over. Hoy, round four. Okay, what's our setup? We got another big, juicy five spotter and a purple, a triple, and a gold, and a blue, a quad, and a red ship. Oh, I seem to recall... Red ships are very important. And a white. And a two. 
a double, and a black ship. Whoa, okay. All right. And now Jen's kind of bummed. She put over, because she put a black in the black ship there. But that blue ship is everything. That is a three point ship. We both want it. I want to put it there. Jen wants to put it here along with her guy. Jen breaks ties. Here's Jen's problem. She already used her 10. She knows I haven't used my 10. Because again, memory sucks. It's good to keep all this stuff out so you can think about it more instead of having to memorize what you, what's been played. So, I, do, I just don't know why the default rule in, introduces that element of memory. I, don't know, I guess if you like memory, it's cool. Alrighty. Uh, no, no, no toys about it. I, I'm playing. Well, Jen sees me play really fast, and she could correctly guess. I'm playing my 10. I'm not throwing away my shot. So then, if Jen knows that's a 10, if she believes it's a 10, she might as well use her weakest card. She played correctly. I get first dibs. Jen gets second dibs. And I believe... Although, you know, second dibs isn't bad. A five-point tile instead of a three-point. But this is a three-point, or, or potentially a three-point there. So, boom. This is what I will take. And Jen says, oh, well, I'll just actually develop my planet like a good leader. But in the meantime, boom! I got the face. I am definitely in the lead on blue. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, hooray. And let's see, a yellow uh, crystal that doesn't do anything for me. Other than now I've got three crystals, I could take Jen's lead even without that freebie build. Alrighty, so how am I going to build this? I could go like this, let's say. Um, because then... No, 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 no. I want to... Oh! Oh, I could go like this, because if I get that white crystal, boom. White crystal, white crystal. I just got to develop something here, and then I've got the last research base, or the last science base. So that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. But also very ugly for trying to fill up the remaining space. I mean, I, 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 a 4x4, four four, but I don't know what's coming on the last round. Ugh. So that is a really ugly way to fill this up. Is there a better way I could do this? No, there's not. No, there's not. Oh, I could go like this at least. That's slightly less ugly. But I'm putting a launch pad nowhere near a dome. That means if I put a dome here, I could do a, a, a 2 be there. Let's go like this. Let's go with it. I'm not saying it's necessarily the best move. All right, so I've done that. I'm keeping this open for white. And so now I've got my next problem. Or no, I'm not. I'm just going to put this yellow here. So that's cool. All right, and I'm going to keep... There's no reason to pull these guys out of mothballs yet. I'm just keeping my options open. And, all right, meanwhile, Jen. All right, so she's got another purple. That's two purples. And how is she going to build this? Oh, look at this. Boom. Or, nope, nope. Yeah, it would have to be boom, because now Jen's got a place to put the last white. I've got, so it all comes down to who's going to get this white for this two-point split. So, again, this is breaking her up very choppily. This is going to be harder to fill these last little bits. But Jen is going to take a shot at getting that. She uh, needs to put this some... Oh, no! Actually, wait, I totally forgot. There, there, there's nothing to think about here. I need to rethink mine because... Boom. Jen's done. Jen is done. Boom. All right, and so that means she'll just go ahead and put this purple here. No, she'll store it, save for later. So, I know I can't do the white anymore, so is this the best way to build this? Well, I can't put it... I, mean, I could, but that's kind of wasteful. Uh, I could go like this. Although, yeah, that's it. Um, all three bases have been made. I, although, you know, it, it's still, I mean, there is still, two, or two, all three research spaces have been made. There's still two bases to build. If I get a, oh, right, and I, I need to get a red ship. I need to get a red ship here, and I could build a red base, and then we're tied. Then, so whoever builds this black base, which is probably going to be Jen, because she's left her options open, I am not. But anyway, so that's for the future. Right now, I'm just trying to decide how to build this. If I want to try and get that black base, I should do this in such a way that I could get a, a pod someplace like, 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 I mean, I could just go like that. And then if I get a pod over there, because it doesn't matter where I put my crystals anymore. It just doesn't matter. I'll just go like this and just try to keep things. All right. So that's that. I've lost the white race. Jen has done it. That doesn't sound good, but uh, you know what I meant. So, okay. 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 So that's that. And, all right, so, uh, next up. Uh, the tie, what? Yeah. Tie breaks in my favor. I've got a 2, an 8, and a 9. Jen's got a 7, an 8, and a 9. Things are looking a little bit better for her. Who wants what? Jen wants that black ship and something to be able to put it on here so that she can get the, uh, the, the black base. 
Um, oh, and she wants this, because if I get it and I put this someplace, boom, we're tied up on white, and that work she did was for naught. So I think Jen wants that more. But she knows if she gets this, then I get this, and boom, I've done the red base. That's two points for me right there. So Jen doesn't want me to have that. <sighs> oh, wow. That's tough. So what does Jen value more? Um, tr working on the potential, because again, this is a four-pointer. This is a two-pointer. So there's a two-point spread on that. So I think Jen, as much as she'd like to do this, she knows it doesn't do me any good because, hey, I'm not any closer to making the black base either. So I think Jen... But the other problem is Jen knows I've got my nine and the tie breaks in my favor. So if Jen plays her nine and I play my nine, she's wasted it. So does she gamble? Does she gamble? I think she doesn't. I think she plays the seven, her lowest one, because she was right. I play the nine. I've been saving up for this. I take that. And I take all the rest of this. And this means I got that. Boom. And so I'll figure this out in a second. And meanwhile, she gets this business. All right. So this is going to help her potentially hold on to her white lead. Uh, because if nothing else, she doesn't have to put this anywhere. She just has to keep it from me. And let's see. So this is two points. How is she going to do this? She wants to put this ship here. She cannot put it here because this doesn't let her put a ship here. She could go on ahead and put it in storage, though, and now she's got to deploy this someplace. Might as well put it here because the red base can't be gotten anymore. And, right, she is probably... She'll just go on ahead and bring this out because she can. And she'll store that. And... Um, Right, doesn't really matter. She just needs to store more crystals. Because all the... Right, so let's just put that there. That's two more points. That's fine. Okay. Oh, we're coming down to the wire, folks. Here we go. The last round. And uh, let's fill her up. A two and a green and a black ship. And a red colonist. A biggie. Can I even fit that? Oh, 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 actually, all right, hold on a second. I haven't actually built my stuff. Okay, so I don't know what's coming yet. I'm, I'm ignoring that. Where am I going to put this business? <laughs> um, oh, goodness gracious. All right, okay, so there is still the shot of building this black base. So which I'd like to do, but it's... I mean, I've got a black ship. If a black um, crewman comes out, I could potentially do it. So, I mean, this would be a place... Yeah, so if I go like this, let's say, then I could put the black ship here, the black crewman there. I'd be given a place to store a crystal, but that's okay. So that might be my best shot. But now, look at what I've made for myself of trying to fill these last areas. If a four or five comes out, I will not be able to take advantage of that at all. Hmm. But I'm leaving my options open. Wow. Um... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go for it. Okay. And so now I've gotta choose these guys. Hey, this is my first green. I don't think I'm coming anywhere close to taking green away from Jen. I do wanna try and take yellow away from her. So let's go on ahead and deploy the yellow. Boom. So now there's three and three. If another yellow comes out, that's what's gonna break the tie for gold. Uh, except I've got another yellow. Let's just go on ahead and put it right there and say even though Jen got the base originally. I took the lead from her, but she could still uh, tie break, and I'll just go on ahead and temporarily store the screen because I can. Wow. Okay. So now back over here, and I'm like ah, I can't fit this in here now. No. Oh well. I knew that was a gamble. Let's see what else we got. But hey, there's a. But there are plenty of other things I will be able to fit. So it's not the end of the world. Let's see here. Oops. There we go. So that and that, and a blue ship, a white and a purple. And a black astronaut and a yellow and a green. Right, here it is. Our last hurrah. Me with a two and an eight. Jen with an eight and a nine. <laughs> um, okay, so. Eh. Right, so. And we could, and, and this is on the line for the one point over there. But could Jen do it? Jen could get this black ship. She's already got a black ship. And I've got... All right, so she needs to keep this black ship... Because if she keeps this black ship for me, then I can never do it. She'll probably jettison it because she's already got one in storage. All right, she just needs to put a dome here. Or and she needs to fill both of these spaces. Or, you know, both of those... Oh, no, she doesn't... Yeah, she just needs to fill this space and boom, she's done. 
So Jen really wants. Um, what could she? <gasps> right. She, she, she needs to put something here. Just this little single here. And boom. She's got everything she needs to get that black base. And, and I've got a black ship as well. So it's not, this black ship is meaningless. This red um, worker is fairly meaningless because if Jen gets it, that'll be her second. She won't beat my three. So these are meaningless. We don't care about those. Uh -huh. Unless there's a tie. The tiebreaker is who's got the most plastic on their board. Uh -huh. All right. So green. If, if I get this, I'll only have two green. But if I get this and this, I'll have got three green. And if I can put them all on my board, I'll take that away from Jen. Or you know, I'll take away that one point. So this is these are not important. These are kind of important. And this is two points. This is four points, though. And here's a tricky thing. This would be super painful. Um, if Jen wins this round and takes this group, she'll leave me with this. I can't put it anywhere. So all I'll get is one purple. Which will all that will do is let me hold on to my lead. And my lead in purple is worth one. Ouch. So Jen could really hurt me by taking this away. Because that's what I need to be able to actually build. Because I'll have lost, you know, I'll, I'll do lose a lot more negative points for that. Oh my gosh. That could actually put me in a negative points at the end of the game. So I think, based on, although, you know, Jen, she's got plenty of room for this. I mean, she could uh, put that all kinds of places. And then still, she just needs, either of these would let her fill this space in and get that done. Although, here's the interesting thing. If it works out that both of us um, could build this base at the same time, the tie break, like always, will be who played the higher card. Whew. Um, right. <laughs> well, well, well. And I've totally forgotten what I was trying to do. Right, I just need to get, I need to get that guy. <clears throat> if I can get that guy, I can do the base there. Because I've got a ship and a base. <clears throat> so I don't really care that much here. But I also don't want to get stuck with this, which I can't use. So I want this. I want this, because this is two points as opposed to zero points. But do I play my eight or my two? Because I potentially win, although, no, 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 no. If I play my eight, I, I can't win this. I can't win this because I can see Jen has an eight, so it doesn't matter. I'll play my two because even if I play my eight, Jen's lowest is an eight. The tie will break for her, so I might as well play my two. Jen will play her eight, and uh, just like that, she won, and she will do it. Boom. Oh, the pain! All I got out of this was one purple because this doesn't fit anywhere. I said that was a gamble, and that hurt. That hurt, folks. And let's uh, add insult to injury. Jen will just go ahead and put this right here, which means she can bring this out of mothballs. And boom, de boom, boom, boom. So she just locked in that two points. Uh, I don't know what she's gonna do with that ship. What's she gonna do with this red guy? Yeah, this red guy. Yeah, he'll just he'll just chill. And this green, yeah, he'll just chill. Wow. And I got one purple, purple murple. There we go. So that was that. Oh no. Okay. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, I play an 8. Jen plays a 9. She gets first dib on the last one as well. So, what's it going to be? Chick a D. This is 3 points. This is 1 point. It's as simple as that. That's. I mean, that, that could win it right there. Yeah, Jen's just going to take the 3-pointer versus the 1-pointer. Alright, so, she would just like to fill in a few more points if she can. And just get as much stuff deployed as possible for the potential tiebreaker. So, hey, Mr. Blue, you've been waiting for quite a while. You've been very patient. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. There are still majorities to consider here. There are majorities. So, I'm only going to get one more black. So, Jen's got the black free and clear. And one blue won't take my majority away. So, it doesn't really matter which, whichever guy she puts there. But Oh, but look. She's got places to put both of them. Hooray. And she'll get her ship, her last ship deployed. And does she have any more place for these crystals? Um, right. So she's got three crystals and two places to put them. Oh, no. Is this... Oh, this is a yellow. So she gets them all placed. Boom, boom, boom. Jen has nothing left over. And so she's left me this. Oh, this is going to be a slaughter, folks. This is going to be tray not good. All right. So it doesn't really matter. Just put it way down here. And just get everything deployed. Um, uh, you know, for the majorities. Is there anything I can't deploy? Let's see. So I can get a ship out. Oh, I can only, yeah, I can put a ship out and a ship out. So all my ships are done. I can put my last guy out and I've got three crystals and I can only put two of them down. I'm already winning on purple, so I don't need that. I got three to, uh, yeah, I got four to two, so it doesn't matter. And I will just go on ahead and put that there and that there. Oh, yay. And the game is over. And now the final reckoning. 
Here's the points. Who has the blue majority? I believe that would be me. So I get three points for blue. Jen, um, who gets the red majority? Jen has two. I've got three. That is two points for me. Uh, who has the black majority? I think that would be Jen. That is one point for her. Uh, who has the most buildings built? One, two, three, four versus one, two, three. That's a two pointer to Jen. Who has the most white? One, two, three, four for Jen versus one, two, three for me. I didn't quite pull it off. Who has the most gold? One, two, three versus one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh! Well, quite a stirring upset. Who has the most green? Jen has one, two, three, four, five. I think that goes to her. Who has the most purple? One, two, three, four versus one, two. That goes to me. All righty. Um, so that's all well and good. But uh, Jen loses three points for not having filled three of her spaces. So we'll just say goodbye to that three. Jen's final score is a whopping three. My, I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. All right, so here goes. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Three, six, seven. My final score is two. And that's it, folks. Oh, my gosh. A nail biter came right down to the wire. Jen wins it. Three to two. And that was a full rundown, run through of Cosmic Run Mining Colony. And if you want to hear some final thoughts, including at no point have I actually shown you the, um, the bonus cards you can get that add objectives that really increase the game even more. If you want to know about that, hit that eye in the top right corner screen, go to final thoughts, your choice in five, four, three, two, one.